she so happy. So the member talk about that article. Right. Several members of the PIA patron squad sent me this. It involves data and research. Big research one. And the research just confirm everybody. Should know by now. The majority of the illegal weapons them trafficked to the Caribbean are from Uncle Sam Place and in particular Florida and they are bought by citizens from the country them where they go. In other words, Jamaicans go America buy gun, send go Jamaica, Trini go America buy gun, send go Trini. I'm going to give you some of the numbers. I'm going to tell you all this article, because I'm mainstream article, so I don't really know what I go on in the streets. Touch upon a couple of things that they never really go into. Before I go into that, a couple of things. I have three birthday shout out and two announcements. First birthday shout out goes out to Xavier Rowe to their birthday. Right. You have been hearing this name as a patron birthday shout out for years now, because I years now. Right. He's been with the Patreon squad from February 2021 to the birthday. One more year around the sun. Xavier, big up yourself. Enjoy yourself to the max. Right. But just keep an eye open. Keep a fair telling that because two more spooky things are going on around celebrations. So enjoy yourself. Right. Don't take any day for granted. None at all. Because life gone an instant. Xavier Rowe, original Patreon squad member. Big up yourself, bro. Next up, we have Leah G, the daughter of Kenny G. Kenny G, long time supporter of the movement, reason regular. Right, one week can pass on some kind of reason. That one. Well, him daughter turned 21 yesterday. If I run joke with him, I said, never know, say, I'll fit the big summer. Right. A long time Kenny G the road. Right. Big up yourself, Leah. Right. Your father tell me, say, right, you already set off on an entrepreneurial venture. Which, by the way, is one of the things they want to cover in the Fireside series. Right. I'm not going to hear about the road again. Right. Entrepreneur. Right. I'm not going to hear how oh, that tie into the Iron Man culture. I wonder, where am I coming now? You soon see it. So, Leah G, best of luck with your ventures. Big up yourself. The father love you and read your sin. Hope you had a great day. Last but definitely not least, we have Delano. Turned 23 yesterday. Next month will be one year since he's been a member of the Patreon squad. Delano live in Canada. I hope he's not a Winnipegian. Because you know the Winnipegian, the married, you know, they're not easy, you know. Winnipegian, they're not easy. 23 years. Then you see, said there was a million ways to die back in the day. Come like there's two million now. We just want to understand that it's nothing for granted. Every day when you wake up, it's a new opportunity. And if you set your life on the correct path and make an impact in the right way to the right people. So, Xavier, Leah G, and Delano, big up on yourself. Now, for the two announcements, then, Monday will be the first fireside video. I'm mean, going to kick it off with Burger King and KFC. Hold on, what are you talking about? Where are you YouTube at about now? Went on Food Channel? No, the same cultural commentating. I'm going to use Burger King and KFC. And Bill, my point around it. Something that is endemic within Jamaican culture and how Jamaicans operate and treat local business people. People look like them and I try the business. I'm going to use Burger King and KFC. As the props them for the video. You don't want to miss it. Fireside series. First one. Last announcement from going to the video. Sunday, I'm going to be talking about your favorite quote unquote God loving artist. Talking about Vibes Pro Box. The man who loves tell about him, love get up people and him love poor people. Tell us how pound that a puppet that. As soon as he's upset, the first thing he talks about is how people poor and who broke and who hungry and who can this and who can that. When he's talking about ticket sales, 50% off. 
I'm going to talk about all that because the same people who are say free barbers made them ask to go back to prison. It looked like three guns are long enough, I forgot who he really was. I know people can see him again and interact with him again and interact more. Now they're reminded as to who Vibes Pro Box is. My mom telling him to say he was a PNP for a long time. Now they say, yo, no, no, if you know politics and you run up on political stage, no, about saying no, if you politics, neutral. You only can't mean you talk about it Sunday. Here is the video now. Majority of traffic guns in Caribbean are from the US ship and further. That's like telling me, say, if you jump in the river, you will get wet. It's very captain obvious, but nevertheless, I'm telling you what the article say. You see, a new report from US government's lead investigator on gun trafficking in the Caribbean era is confirming what region leaders have long said. Most of the firearms wreaking havoc in their vulnerable nations and being used in 90% of the homicides are coming from the United States. Can yeah, somebody find that sound effect for me? Uncle Sam also discovered there was a lack of political will on the parts of some Caribbean governments and shortcomings in the US to tackle the problem. The report note that while 73% of the guns recovered over a five year period were traced back to the US, some Caribbean governments have shown greater willingness than others to recover and trace firearms. Some Caribbean governments have shown greater willingness than others to recover and trace firearms. In other words, some no one do it. Some no one, some not interested to do it. I wonder why. Hmm. I wonder why. Because they all run on, oh, I'm going to stop the crime. I'm going to lower this and lower murders. They all run on that, but there's, a, there's not much no willpower to actually get things done. Just PR statements. I wonder why. Now, I'm not going to read the whole article. I'm going to pick out the point they must stand out to me. And you can read the whole article for myself. Right. So pick out the most interesting points. This says right here, so. The study notes that criminal networks are also growing more sophisticated and interconnected across the hemisphere in the Caribbean specifically contributing to higher rates of homicide. The gang them, the people them who are shipping the gun them back in a Iron Man and Trinidad and Haiti and them places are getting more and more sophisticated. But again, that's nothing new. Nothing new at all. Every time America changed the government, whoever in a power claims to them do this and do that, I'm going to tell you why. They mentioned that there isn't much willpower from the Caribbean country them. Well, there isn't much willpower from Uncle Sam either. I'm going to tell you why there isn't much willpower from Uncle Sam. Listen to this part in particular. Because it mentioned Iron Man. For example, Jamaican officials said that their firearms records are paper-based and not centralized, making them less accessible and difficult to analyze. Paper-based systems are also vulnerable to loss and accidental destruction due to fire or water damage, the report said. You can't make this up. Me know say them sing load apart because that must have sound stupid for anybody to read. They must make sure put in that part there from the report in a news article. Iron Man gets singled out for mentioning this nonsense about paper-based. 2024, 25 they round the corner. And Jamaica still I use the excuse, say, oh, but we use paper. In this day and age when Pitney we can barely walk, no off use phone. And can download app. Then me they'll download app and buy things off of your phone, off of your card. Pitney can do it. And the Jamaican government, the state, still I tell man about, oh, but I true use paper, bro. The paper, the paper loss. Guy, it's all by design. The reason why them love paper is because when certain things get spooky and a time to be accountable, it's easier to grab a piece of paper and crush it up and burn it up. Anything will get logged in or something where you can see who was the last person for logging in and who have access, then it becomes harder for them to cover themselves. So them stick to the old system of paper and folder because if worse come to worse, then just run go in one room, take out the folder, and shred it, and burn it. It's all by design. 
When they go certain agencies in Jamaica and see them use paper, they want things to be as lethargic as possible. Members said enough people in the government don't really work, you know. Well, if you listen to me. Enough people in the public sector don't really have no work, you know. They ain't go work, but they don't have no work for doing you know? Their existence is tied. Their existence is tied to the system being slow and sloppy. If you could just walk into the tax office and put in this number and this come up and everything done in a five minutes, enough people would have to go find work. Enough people would have to go actually find sitting though. Enough of your favorite public sector workers them in Jamaica don't do nothing at all, you know. Then just collect taxpayers' money and go to the yard. Right. Buy KFC Friday evening. Right. That's it. If you ask them what they really do, they give you like an official statement, but they don't really do nothing. But they don't really work, work like that. And when I time to cover up themselves, them can do it because of paper and pen and pencil they work with. And oh, yeah, go prove that. Where you paper there? Find it now. Since you say me thief this, since you say me never do this, prove it. That's right, you can't prove it. Where you say paper there? They don't have paper. All them tell us so the paper lost. It just magically able one fire does start. Fire does in Jamaica fires just magically start at the most spooky time. In Ironman, fires just start at the spookiest time possible. Like right before one big case go on, you say so one fire just start. Right before one big verdict come down, you say so one fire just catch in our specific department. It's all by design. Then they want to fix illegal trafficking and fix this and fix that. They would. That is why I tell you, say, if you don't remember nothing else from the local YouTuber, remember say it all boy down to is either they can't do it or they don't want to do it. It also going to mention that the authorities in the Jamaica claim say they don't have enough staff to properly scan the large number of shipments being imported to Ironman. And that law enforcement in Jamaica noted that while the country has nine government controlled ports, there are 151 that are uncontrolled. 151 ports that are uncontrolled. Hold on there. Jamaica noted that the country have nine government controlled ports, but there were 151 uncontrolled. What does uncontrolled mean? The government don't control your yard, but if you beat up your partner, they can go, they go lock you up. A hundred can we get a list of these hundred and fifty one places that are uncontrolled? Can we get a list after one hundred and fifty one places in Jamaica? Hundred and fifty one ports that are uncontrolled. I would love to see those places uncontrolled. So that means there's nobody from the government there. And if that's the case, that don't make the government look any better. It make them look worse. Hold on. Are they saying there are hundred and fifty one ports? In Jamaica, where things can go to Ironman without customs or nobody from the government seeing these things, 151 ports. We need to look further into this. I'm just reading what I see. I say, you know, 151 ports. Let's read it again. Remember, so we never really go Winnipeg, go study the course. So maybe we just not bright and really. So we can read it again. Slower. Law enforcement in Jamaica noted. That while the country has nine government controlled ports, there are 151 that are uncontrolled. So that would mean that there are 160 ports. Nine the government quote unquote control, and 151 the government don't control. By control, do they mean own? That still doesn't add up. Because the government don't own airport. But the government still have Taka Airport and the government still can post police officers and post man from customs and post immigration officers and post this and post that. So what they mean by control? Because it sounds like the master will remember said us the nine we responsible for and we have 151 where we know that that the much time it's not a non attack over these 151 ports. I would love to see a list of these ports. And then the people need to ask the question, are they saying the government now have no talk down there? And the government don't watch what go in and out of these ports? This does raise more questions and answers. Guy, I'm just reading what I see so. So there are 160 ports in Ironman. 
160 ports of entry and exit. That the must say. And government control 9. And 151 not controlled. By uncontrolled, they must mean no own. But no own don't mean no under control. Because as I said, the government don't own the airport, but the government have control the airport. Because the government can post police officers, can post customs officers, can post immigration officers. The government can tell the people who own the airport, say, this have to go on before that go on. It's still Jamaica. And the government have talked all over Jamaica. So there's somewhere in Jamaica. When nobody from customs and nobody from the government now watch what you are because them no want to put nobody there. Nobody can open no port in Jamaica. No port of entry or exit and the government don't have no talk there. Nobody. And if that's the case, then we need to rethink what government are do. And what purpose government serve if you are saying that somebody can have a port of entry and exit in Jamaica. And government now have no chat down there. So who is entering and exiting this port? No wonder so much picnic I'm missing. If this is an excuse, it's a terrible excuse. It don't make me feel sorry for the government. It make me look on them even worse. Just how useless are these Irish accents? They might give these foreigners information because foreigners don't know the streets work. So when they mention say there's not enough people to look what I go on and check what I come to Ironman. So does that mean that on any given day, don't go off. Things reach the Iron Man when nobody no look on. Is that what you're saying? Are they saying on any given day, don't go off? Any of the them. Things that enter Iron Man and they not even get looked on at all. Is that what you're saying? While they may have staffing issues, rest assured, from you know yourself. As a Jamaican, you ever said nothing about Jamaica yet? And customs don't look on it? From when I send barrel, from barrel make, and I send, who no ever send one barrel, and it reached Jamaica, and smuddy, not to say you have to pay this amount? From you know yourself, you ever hear of smuddy, I send something to Waf or any place, any port of Jamaica, and them now have some money for pay? So all money I pay, but no, we hear say things don't even get looked on. Maybe it's because them only look on the legal goods them. Them now look on the illegal one then because if you send one barrel of soap go iron man, you better know so that I get dig up. Matter of fact, go play soap them I go missing. The people who work on a wharf who search barrel them sitting there for them family must smell well good cause if you send one barrel of soap, you best believe. When they reach here, yeah, some of them they soap they're gone. They will search, no care where you hide. They will dig to the uttermost depths to find where you hide, not that. But then can't find gun. If you buy one tie for your pet mongrel. And stuff it in the deepest, darkest part of your barrel, customs find that. Why we'll find that? But when it comes on to finding the rifle, then. <laughs> But when it comes on to finding the Mach 10 and the Uzi, when it comes on to finding the M16 and the K, all of a sudden they can't find it because them short staff, them no short staff when they want find the phone where you hide, you know. You can't make this up. You think the Irish socks and them easy? Them no short staff when they want find the laptop with your stuff way down in the barrel, you know. But when I time to find the Matic, when I tell him to find the rifle, I go to mash up the whole of March pen. Right. Big long AK. Then can't find that, you know. But try and hide one 3310 and see if they don't find it. Guy, me there, guy. They might tell them them things are because they don't, they don't know so don't know how the streets really work. When man I send gun go iron man. It go to a specific link. Meaning say is a particular person down a wharf get the search that the item there. When it had left America, when it reached Ironman, it's a specific person down a wharf. Cause I know all of them in the link. It's not all of them in the link. Not all of them part of the network. So that the barrel, that the suitcase there. 
that the box there, that the crate there, I get opened by a specific person. That person look in there, and go on like him or look for sitting. He know what in there, he see what in there. Then, when I tell him to sign off, the next man will claim him as sign off, he verify him also a part of the link. Till the man will go, feed, go, go pick it up and go on about in business, go on them reach for Marshpen Road. No, for a time, the minute you hear something get fine or off, it's because there's a blunder somewhere and somebody go fly one container where them shouldn't fly. A sign man should have fly the container there. But Simone go. So Simone go there now, go do her actual job and her actual search and go book up in her things. Simone make a report, go and get fine. I saw things going to Iron Man. Things now run going to Iron Man and one 15 container drop. And them say, alright, well, we don't have enough staff, so alright, them them 10 container they just make everybody right just come pick up and pick up and go on about them business. No. On a set work. On a set work. Me want to meet this man with a send nothing to Iron Man yet. And you tell them now have some fee for pay. What do you think fee for pay? They might tell you how much you weigh. They might tell you how much, you, how much space it take up. They might tell you how long it did. That's how things really go in the Iron Man. It's a network. It's a link. Nobody now send off 100 go now. Hope say it's going to get fine. Nobody is loading a crate full of gun. And hoping say it make it true. People like that don't operate on hope. Criminal networks don't operate on hope. They operate on links and connection. They operate on corruption. They know say once that the money go search and see what I want, it reach. But when I tell you why Uncle Sam don't have much willpower. Who might shut this? Don't you find it strange them can give the specific data? They might tell you what percentage are gone, which party gone them left from. Uncle Sam know all of this. You think a couple of ragtag 87s from Iron Man I run a gun network out of America and Uncle Sam don't know about that? You think Uncle Sam don't know say people can feel them side of the pond you know, in the link and I make things go cross? You think Uncle Sam don't know that? You think JJ Nakis and Badders in America are outsmart the ATF and the FBI? Uncle Sam know everything. Them can't tell you how much gun are left. They can't tell you where they left from. They can't tell you which part of the gun them trace back to. Everything. So now you're wondering, well, if they know so much, why not this or why not that? I'll tell you why. Because just like Henry Kissinger said, Uncle Sam has no friends, only interest. This is true for all major countries. When it comes down to when they say geopolitics that get ugly in the world, whether it's America, Russia, Canada, UK, Germany, these countries don't operate on friendship. Right? They pretend to be friends, but at the end of the day, it boils down to interest. When you see a country say, we're going to get involved in this, it means they have an interest there. We're going to say something that is big rush to go to the Middle East because they had various interests to protect. You notice no big country and no rush to go to Haiti because they have no interest in Haiti right now. If they had their interest, they're not going to protect it themselves. They won't leave it to Kenya and Ireland. So Uncle Sam has no friends, only interests. And saving the lives of Carrie Saxons is not high on Uncle Sam's list of interests. We're going there. We're going there. Saving the lives of Carrie Saxons. Right, you know, Carrie Saxons, that's the Irish Saxons, the Trini Saxons, the Vinci Saxons, right, the Haiti Saxons. It's not high on Uncle Sam's list. The guns are flowing out of America. Therefore, I found a problem. That's how Uncle Sam looked on it. The guns are flowing out. That's your problem, guy. You know how Uncle Sam would have mash up them link there? Do you want to know how Uncle Sam would crush every single gun network while saying all of your friends were saying gun go Iron Man for America? 
Uncle Sam can mash it up in a seven days flat. Do you know how that would happen? If the guns were flowing from Jamaica to America, from Trinidad to America, from Haiti to America, now it becomes an American problem. Because them guns that will land in America are going to kill off Americans. Now the American voters are going to say, Guy, what do you do? And now the elected leaders have to go respond. So now man up a Congress and man of the Senate I say, yo, push through this, push through that. The guns are flowing out of America. So now it becomes a Jamaican problem, a Trini problem, a Vinci problem. So Americans are in no rush to fix that problem. The are going to tell us, say, why should they take American resources to help save Caribbean lives? They are going to ask you, why should we take American taxpayer resources to go deal with issue with Jamaicans we deal with? A fool of people, they buy the gun, they man send them good on, you deal with it. You don't know say Dan live here. You know Sam live here, so you know Sam and Dan. Last time you send him name, come give it. We ask you, what if you do the name, you say, just go and hold on upon it. You say, you know Sam and Dan, you know Sam and send back, go and go back in the community. Right. So, do you have legislation for deal with him? No, we don't have nothing in place to deal with him because he's in America already. So what you want we do? This is what America is saying. What you want we do? Go for him. Him now send the gun them. Go Manhattan. Him now send gun. Go LA. Him now send gun. Go Atlanta. Him now send gun. Go March Penn Road. And tap banks. So there is very little interest for America to solve this problem. Because as far as them see it is not for them problem. They do not, you're now thinking that, yeah, but surely from a moral perspective, since the gun them are come from America, America must do something. That the world don't operate, geopolitics don't operate upon morals. It operates upon interest. And America has no interest in fixing the Caribbean's problem. They must have found the problem. Matter of fact, they look on it the same like buying car. They might tell us that it's like, oh man, buy a car from America. Car go Jamaica. If he want to crash and kill himself for fooling business, that complain to him more. We never tell him for buying a car. They don't care. They don't care. They might tell us a guy, man from your country, take him money, buy gun and send go back. I know we tell him to send back nothing. So what you want to do? That thing I'm going to tell you. Thinking that America is just going to just one day like feel sorry for Jamaica and sorry for. Guy, that's unrealistic. This is how Uncle Sam will defend himself. This is what America will tell you. Hundreds of people from hundreds of countries go to America and can buy the same gun they want to send for their country. But the people who want to send back the most guns them. Or Jamaicans and Trinis and Vinces. My point out say man from this country go to America too, and him no want say man a gun go to him country. So why man from your country are doing? That means say there is high demand. So what you want me to do? That's what America is going to tell you. America is not going to feel sorry for Jamaica. We cannot make America act, but we can make our leaders act. Remember the security minister, Dr. Horace Chang, went as far as to give a precise number on how much illegal gun drop in the air, man. Remember that. Do you remember Dr. Horace Chang gave a precise number as to how much illegal gun drop in Iron Man a month time? Go and go look feed for yourself, cause maybe maybe I make up things to get views. Maybe bad minding can you take on me girl. Maybe maybe. Maybe. So go look feed for yourself. Uncle Sam know which part of the gun they are left from, which part of America they are left from, they know all who are seen it. Jamaican government know all the network, know about the network, a man who carry team, them know about Raven him friend, them they know about all of this. Them know about the Indian man where banker is telling about. Them know about all of this. But yet still here we are. 
Here we are. I'm racist when I talk now, but it's going to be a follow up. It's going to be a follow up. Patreon squad, big up on yourself. PIA, you don't know. More life. Ultra squad. See you circling. Bless.